this is the way I do it. These come off, pull this down, open it up. Same Oops. with the other one. Got it. Then you got Velcro here that comes around. Pull it out. Because I don't like things flapping around, I always put them right back. Got it. You never know with the wind when you're outside how it's going to be. And again, if you take care of things, they'll take care of you. Right. And then you come over here to the side of the trailer. And underneath, a little further down on this one, they're usually in different spots in different trailers. Pull the car back, and then you pull this out. Okay. This is the piece you need to roll up the flap. Gotcha. When you're backing into a place that you got to do this at, make sure you got enough room to operate that. You slide it right into this piece here. Okay. Then you literally roll it up to the top. Until it comes over. Lay it down on the side. These are pieces to operate this either on the inside or the outside. You can take it off from here if you ever lose your bar. Gotcha. Your pry bar, this will go in and your actual pry bar for securing your strap will fit in here and you can operate it the same way. Gotcha. That usually goes in there. There's one on each side. So this bar, and it's marked. Unlock and lock. Gotcha. So you just put the bar in. Sometimes it has a pretty good snap on it. Okay. Then on the inside here, you just pull this piece. Set it up in there so it doesn't get in the way. Right. Okay. Same thing on that side. Same thing. Some places you go to will literally ask you to just leave the bar on the inside and back in with your flap up. You leave this bar on the inside and they'll open it up on the inside depending on how they need it. Gotcha. So we're just going to put it in there. Now, Sometimes these, the whole thing goes. Sometimes these things will stick. One will stick on one side when you're okay. pushing. So you just give it a little rock. Oh, gotcha, okay. If that doesn't work, then you gotta go look at the other side and see if something's caught. Okay. These particular trailers have a really neat feature. Right under here on this, you can see this piece right here, it'll lock this in so that it doesn't slide shut on you. Right. See? Nice. And one of the things that I do, because I like to take care of my equipment, and sometimes it helps to get this open a little bit more, especially in the wind. Oh, sure. If the wind is blowing in, these pieces will sometimes get stuck inside. So you just pull them out. Make sure they're all out. There you go. Then, come over here. A lot of times you'll have to slide both ways. Put a handle here, push in, lift up, and it'll come out. And you gotta be careful because when this is, if you do it this way first, okay. and you don't unlock it from that side, they'll have a snap to it. So oh. there's a lot of pressure there. Yep. Push it all the way back, push that piece back. Do the same to the other side. And now you're unlocked from the front. Okay. So then, now you get loaded. So they put all the stuff they're gonna do here. As you can see, part of your trailer is still, they, they can't get a forklift in. Right. 
So now you get this part all loaded up. Come back. You undo that piece. Yep. It's just a twist lock. Okay. Twist it up and you can actually feel it move. Oh, sure. See? And it'll almost all the time do it on its own. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's a stop here. Okay. I don't want it smashing into the stop all the time. Right. So that's the C. Right. So then, now you're back this way. Just walk back up over here. Very nice. Now you can get the front part loaded. Very nice. You can also put this, to how it's together right now, you can also put it in the center. Oh, so sure. Right now, say you got heavy stuff and you're only gonna get a piece in the back and then a piece in the front for your weight distribution. Yep. Go to the front here. As you can see, it rolls really easily. Right, it does roll pretty easy. Push this back, and then it has the same kind of lock. Right. You lock that in, and yeah, now you got it, it stays. Yeah. This particular feature is really nice for when you're getting coils. Usually because of the weight of the coils, they'll put a coil here and a coil back there for your weight distribution. Yep. Now you just put it in the center, they load it up. You got plenty of room to secure your load. Yep. Which these are very handy for chains. You can put your binders onto these and lock them down. <laughs> One of the most important things in the winter time, your track here could get ice in it from the condensation, water, you know, because your wheel runs on this track. Yep. All you need is a screwdriver, hammer, sure. make sure you, you get it clean. You know, you don't want anything bumping on this too much. You want to watch forklift drivers, make sure they don't plow into it Yeah. because they're not used to this. Some places are, some places aren't. You want to get WD-40 every once in a while and put it on your wheels. Yep. One of the things I've noticed that when you pull this forward, which we're gonna do right now, I'm gonna unlock it. Okay. This would be considered one of the harder things. I, I spent a little bit of time on it the very first time I pulled one. So this is the way you would lock it in. So we do this side too. Mm -hmm. You want to make sure that that is in all the way up and you can tell by by you'll feel it by moving it whether it's all the way up or not okay in the wind sometimes when the wind goes because it'll blow the sides in yep. it can make it extremely difficult and i'm taking a pause okay gotta unlock this side It can make it extremely difficult to have enough pull because the wind is going to be pushing in on the center pieces of the tarp because this is basically an open tarp. Sure. So the wind will be pushing in and it's very difficult to pull on this and get it into that spot in order to be able to lock it in. What I've found is if you leave the front undone, then lock these in and actually take your bar. Hmm. So you, now you've got to remember the front's undone when sure. it's windy. You go ahead and you lock your bar in. 
one side and then you can go up front. We're going to redo this just to illustrate the point. Sure. And yes, only one side. Right. The hardest part is sometimes the stretch yeah. of, of the tarp. Because when the wind is blowing in, it's pushing it in this way and it's pulling right. on both sides. <clears throat> so if you come up here and you lock that back one in, opposite corner, you can take your tarp, you have this set up, if you go all the way in here, you'll see how it catches. Even though this will clear, it doesn't necessarily work the greatest. Okay. I like to leave it out just a little bit. And I'll give it a good run. Oh, sure. Push the bar. I make sure it goes in both so it holds the piece. Right, right. Hold your handles in. You don't have to, I just do that. Yeah. But that will put the stretch on one side, the stretch on the other side. And again, for when the wind is blowing, pushing in makes it more difficult. That makes it easier. Now you got one side that's already stretched. And then you just come over here. Come around this side. Sure. You come over here, you pull, and push that bar right in there. Yep. And then you're already, you're set to grab the bar. Lock it in. Put your bar away, wherever you feel comfortable putting it. Okay. Then I like to make sure this rounded rope piece kind of goes in the track. Shut that. Bring this piece up. Lock it in. And repeat. Nice. This part's important because it helps keep the back wind from coming in and if you're in a rainstorm, helps keep your product dry. Nice. Bring that up, give it a push, lock it in. You can obviously tell we didn't lock the front part in. Right. So you know you gotta do that. Boom, you're tarped. Love it. That's quicker to do it both ways than it would for me to put half a tarp on by hand. Wow. And not so dirty. I did this little without bit of hands. gloves. Wow. But look at my shirt. Yeah, not bad. You know, anytime you use a tarp and you have to crawl up there and whatever you're wearing is gonna get completely filthy. You can kind of stay clean just doing it securement right now a couple of little tricks I learned open that one up
If it sticks, you just give it a little pull. Okay. One of the things I learned, if you look up in here, you'll see this rubber piece. That rubber piece, these are where you want to put your straps. So the part with the strap hook or chain that goes like this, it's easier if you push this, if you push this down with your hand, and then when you put your, your strap through here and you have either the binder strap that has the, the C clamp or C hook on it, yep. or the chain, use your other hand to pull that rubber flap back, drop your strap through, and then pulling the strap is really easy and you hook it to right here. Right on. Then the same with the other side. <clears throat> you fold your strap up, push it through, you run it down. Mm -hmm. The excess you can just put anywhere in here because you don't have to worry about it all being secure like you would with an open flatbed because this will protect your strap from flying out and coming down and blowing all over the place. Oh, so you can just roll it up. Okay. And again, these pieces are very handy for chains. Right. Because anybody who knows anything about flat bedding, we use these a lot. They make our life a lot easier. They're little cheap pieces and they keep everything on the inside of the trailer. Sure. And those are all along the whole edge of the... Yep. Now so some trailers... Every, every couple feet? Yeah, it looks like every couple feet. Yeah, every two, three feet. So Almost, it looks like almost with their pockets, every other pocket. Yeah. Now some trailers will have a track right here. So there, there'll be this, this little track about this wide, and then they have these pieces that have a, like a, a, a hook on it. Okay. And then the track has a, a part. So you take this piece, you set it flat on here with the S side, then you lift it up and it secures. There's a hole in this piece, so you can use it kind of like the chains, mm -hmm. but it's good for the straps. Because sometimes if you have to use a two inch strap with the ratchet or a larger strap with the ratchet, if it's too close to here, and when you bring the handle down, it might be a little too much depending on where the load is at. And it could push out and it may hit or catch onto your uh, oh. curtains when you pull it. Gotcha. But all you have to do is talk to somebody. It's usually a little square box on each side of the trailer. What I try to do is whatever I use on this side of the trailer stays on this side of the trailer. Sure. So I don't have to worry about how many pieces go on that side or this side. Everything is for its side. Same when you set up your chains at binders. Yep. Or you can set it up to where take from this side to throw over your load when you're undoing everything you know those chains come here those binders come here on this side it'll save on the other side it'll save you steps from walking around the trailer and make your life a lot easier and you'll find that you won't be working as hard very nice that's about everything i can think of uh, most tractors when they're hooked up to the trailer have some kind of steps so you can use that door okay Oh yeah. The door. Check all your straps depending on the load. Now granted there are sometimes you get a load where you can't use that door. Then you have to open it up and check your straps and your chains in order to make sure your load is still secure. It's not that hard. It's very easy to open and close this thing so there's no reason to not check your securement. Right. And that's pretty much everything to go over. This trailer is very simple and very convenient. It makes your life a lot easier. Instead of spending four hours on tarping, or less time, some people are faster than others. I'm not that fast, but you can untarp and retarp this in 10, 15 minutes. Wow. Makes life a lot easier. More, less time on, on tarping, more time driving, more time earning. Nice. And I like to earn. Yes, exactly. I like money. Well, thank you, Richard. That's awesome, bud. Yeah, appreciate it. And, uh, you know, we hope you all get uh, some, uh, you know, good information from this video. If you have any questions, you know, leave it in the comment section below. We'll, uh, we'll ask Richard and we'll get uh, answers back to you. So thanks again, my friend. I appreciate it. Thank you guys and hope to see you here at CMT. All right. And great plans. Yes, sir.